if I have a, you know, kind of like a, a, a server and a client, you know, the server will be uh, one control group and, and the client will be uh, another, okay? They won't be in the same, uh, same, group, same control group, okay? And the next one, group share. The share group means all the processes that share the same executable, okay? So if you have a process which use which you know fork out a process using the exec command, you know if it runs another executable, they won't be in the same share group. Okay. And group walkers means all the user threads. All the threads are running your code. Okay. And it's a subset of the walker. Group. Okay, it's it's locks. That means all the all the threads that 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 is all threads that are running user code and are stopped at the same pro program counter, at the same 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 place in the pro Okay, and rank zero. So this allows you to give control command to an individual process, and of course all it, it it's all the threads within within it. And the process walkers it, and process lockstep is, you know, similar to uh, what I have here, the group walker and group uh, lockstep. 2.1, this is give you a control. This is lowest level here. It's give the control to an individual threat. Okay. So now, if say, for example, here, if I give rank zero a go. Okay, uh, let's, let's set a uh, break point here. Uh, okay, so now I change the scope of the command to rank. Okay, and if I hit go, to so check the root window, okay, where the, all the status of the process, I'm sorry, I'm step, stepping out of the frame again. Uh, so if you check this window here, so rank one through seven still stop, right, T. And only the, the rank zero now is running, okay? Uh, all right. So is there any question? This, the next, okay, if there's no question, the next will be action point. Okay, so this is also, this is kind of, uh, you know, common to, to all the debugs, okay? So you could have three points. So this is where, you know, uh, stop sign, okay? You run, run to here and, and stop there, right? And uh, you can have evaluation points, okay? So this is where the code will run to this place and you, you can give it a, 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 a code fragment to evaluate. So basically, the code will run to there and run that code segment, okay, evaluate that code segment. Okay, so this is like where you can test a, a small fix, a small patch to a program. Okay, if you suspect that you know, there's some error in your code, you can insert a, a code, small code fragment right after it try to correct that if possible, okay? And error points, so this is like the MPI barrier, right? So you, you, you can insert uh, uh, process barrier points into your uh, program. And watch points means, uh, you know, if, if you set a watch point in your program, uh, I'm sorry, if you set a watch point into a variable, it will monitor the corresponding memory location, okay? So it's not, so a watch point does not watch a variable. It will watch that memory location. Okay, so you need to be aware of the scope, right? So if you're in a, in a function call, right, and you watch something, and then you, if you exit, exit that function, you know, that memory location might be used for something else, okay? So that's, that's the thing that uh, you need to, to be aware of. Okay, there are two kinds of, um, Watch point, conditional, and unconditional. We'll, now we'll see what all these extra points are. Okay, so actually we have set a, 
uh, break point here. So in total view, you just click on the line number. Okay, in the source window, you just click on the line number to add and remove uh, breakpoints. It's pretty uh, easy, pretty straightforward. Okay, so you can do that. And uh, if you want to edit the property of that breakpoint, so in the so now in the act points window, okay. So this this tab here, act points, it shows all the action points. Because now we have this stop point, a breakpoint here. If you right click on it and click on property. Property window, okay. So you add a breakpoint there. Now, well, if, if if what you want is a breakpoint, okay. So you can add it, the 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 property of this breakpoint, okay. You know, you can disable it here, okay. There's there's this enable point <coughs> button. Also, you can you can apply if you want the if you want this breakpoint apply to the whole group or just individual process, okay. So if you click on this plan and share group, so now I unselected, okay, the plan and share group button. Now you see this processes button becomes select, okay. If I click on that, now you see here's a list of all the MPI processes you have, okay, rank zero zero seven, all right. Now this breakpoint applies to the rank zero. Okay, now you can select, you can choose which process, processes you want this breakpoint applied to. Okay, so it allows you to change the scope of breakpoint as well. Okay. And also, you can change this, if you, if you want, it's not a breakpoint, you can change this breakpoint to either a barrier or a evaluation point, okay, by clicking on the, the buttons uh, on the top. All right. So, for evaluation point, you can have something like you know, uh, if you want to read. So, if you say whenever it hits this point, uh, reset a variable. Okay. So now suppose you can do something like that. N n equal to one. Okay. It's perfectly fine. You know, if if you suspect that you know there's something wrong with the value of n, it should be one. You know, something like that. You can just do that. Top go to one and click OK, and then you know whenever uh, the, the, that point is hit, n will be reset to one. Okay, this is what I mean by the small patch again. You can apply to your program by using this eva evaluation point. Okay, it, it does not does not necessary to be just 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 one line. You can have you know a few lines there if if, if you want, and also. You can use this evaluation point as uh, to make it a conditional breakpoint. Okay, so now if I say, okay, if I say if n equal to 50, then stop. Okay, this is a perfect. This is perfectly fine. Okay, if n equal to 50, then stop. Now, what I what I do here makes it. A conditional breakpoint only when n equal to 50, the execution stops. Okay, so this is useful when, say, in in a loop. Okay, so you say, I want, I want to see what happens when uh, you know when it, a certain iteration occurs. Okay, so this is what you do when you want something like that. Now let's see if we can. Uh, If you can't see the program clearly, then uh, um, all right. So uh, 
Okay, so you don't need to worry about what, what this program does. Uh, we'll see, uh, I guess, is this, so this is uh, the, the, the program for the hands-on uh, exercise. Um, we'll see what the, pro 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 what the problem is try to solve at the end of the talk. Uh, but uh, it has a loop here, okay, anyway, it has a loop here. So uh, the N is, you know, iterator, okay? So it goes to from one to, in this case, I guess, one, uh, 200 in, in uh, uh, so if I set a uh, breakpoint right here, so at the very beginning of, oh, uh, I'm sorry, the rank one is, uh, rank zero is still running, so I might want to. Well, actually, it's, it's going nowhere because it's still waiting in this uh, MPI and IT call because it's a collective call, so all MPI processes needs to participate. So, uh, so everybody is still on the same page here, um, which is good, I guess. Uh, all right, so what we try to do here is to just add a few uh, few breakpoint here. Uh, okay, so we have a breakpoint in place. Here, so this is. If you click on the the breakpoint in your uh, you know the ac ac action points window, it will uh, you know just place the source window on that uh, on that line. Uh, so remember, this breakpoint we make it. So now, now suppose we want all the uh, you know odd rank processes to stop there for some reason. So we can do that. Okay. And uh, now let's let's add a watch point on the iterator. Okay, just lowercase n right here. So to add a watch point, just right click on the variable, and then create watch point. Okay, so now you see uh, a what point appears in the action point bin. Okay, so now, so basically, again, what point means whenever the value, whenever the content of that memory location changes, the execution will be stopped. Okay. All right. So now let's see. Now we change the scope for back to control the whole group and uh, we hit go now okay so this is what we got here okay now remember we have uh, wait a minute Okay, so you can see the status of all the processes. Uh, so we have a, a good mixture of, of them, okay? So some of them are stopped, and some of them are at its watch point, some are at a point, and some of them are at a break point, okay? So to see where they are, you can either click on the process, click on that row in the window, it will automatically switch to that process, okay? Or in the sub window to the bottom, the process. If you click on the processes tab, this is a list. Remember, this is a list of the processes, okay? If you click on any of them, it will switch to that that process, okay? So now see, we see that you know for all the processes that at their watch point, they stop because they stop at at the very beginning of this loop. Why? And because you know that's where the the value of the iterator changes, right? So no matter you know what the value it has at the very beginning of the program when it hits this loop, because this loop says do n equal to one to you know and number of iteration and the value changes to one. So that's why, that's why you know, it stops there, right? 